to the faith. Two of the great signs of the coming of the Imam Mahdi of his truthfulness, he wrote about that. Then there is a sign of truthfulness of the Prophet Messiah a. Salam, the soldier and learner eclipse, he wrote about that as well. Our God, the dynamics of colliding galaxies, the dynamics of stellar systems, the goal of man and the way to reach it, the use of scientists on the existence of God. He also wrote these kind of books. He also provided services in different ways. He was a provincial Amir. He also remained a secretary in the Sadr Jamaat. He also remembered a member of Sadr Anjaman, as I said. After his retirement, he came to Qadiyan some time ago. And then I appointed him as a Sadr, Sadr Anjaman. He also had a great connection with Almighty Allah. His wife told once that once he came to Karachi, Pakistan, that at the Karachi airport, the customs, they confiscated some electrical equipment of his. It was a very concerning situation of him. Not that he could have done anything wrong, but those who are in the habit of travel, they are aware of how customs act and how they sometimes stop people. But anyhow, his wife said that after a short while, she saw that Aladdin Sahib, that he had disappeared. And she became worried that where did he go? After a short while, he returned and I asked him that where did you go? In this time of great concern, he said that I thought that in this circumstance, only God could help. So therefore, I went to one place and I performed two voluntary unnuffled prayers. So he said, let us go. Our things will be returned to us. So with great confidence he went to the customs. In this time, the people who were in the customs had changed the shift. So the customs apologized and returned their things. In such a predicament, if it was anyone else, he would have looked to get a recommendation or would have been extremely anxious. But he only submitted to Almighty Allah. His wife's sister is Dr. Nusrat Jahan, and he was also the son-in-law of Dr. Abdul Malik Khan Sahib. He said, when I went to Qadian, because of illness, I saw he could not go into the mosque. And he was extremely distressed by this, and he would express this, that I cannot go to the mosque, but all of you are able to go to the mosque for prayers. She said, he told me, and others have mentioned this as well, that he said that that I must have been 26 years of old when Sheikh Yaqub al-Fani Sahib, I came before him to submit my services. I had just come in when he said, either now or today I saw a dream in which Hazrat Hakim Molvi Nuruddin Sahib, Khalid the first may I peace with him, was present. Irfani Sahib says that in the dream I saw that Aladdin Sahib was sitting on the chair of Hadrat Hakim Nuruddin Sahib. Hadrat Khalif Tamsir the first came, he was sitting there and he put him in that chair. So Aladdin Sahib said that I thought that what is my position compared to Hadrat Khalif Tamsir the first. When I went back to Qadian, He says, when he went to Qadian, then after some time, Chaudhi Mirza Wasim Sahib, after he passed away, then Hazur had made him Sadr Sadr Anjuman Ahmadiyya. He said, that time I read the history of Ahmadiyya, and I found out that the first Sadr of the Anjuman was Hazrat Khalif Tumasi the first, and therefore the dream of Hazrat Yaqub Ali Irfani Sahib came true after this, this long time. Once he was preparing for an exam at school, he had a great connection with the Holy Quran. And with great effort, he memorized the entire Holy Quran. He said, I had a paper in the morning, and his mother said, prepare for the paper. But I was reading the Holy Quran, he said, and I was remembering it and memorizing it. He memorized the Quran himself at home. He would go down to the basement in his house, and he would remember and memorize the Quran there. When his mother saw this interest in the Holy Quran, then 
In order for him to memorize the Holy Quran, she brought in a Muallim or a teacher. He had complete obedience with Khilafat. Sentiments of great devotion were seen in him to this effect. He had great love for the Darvesh Adiyan. As I state, in every difficulty, he would become engrossed in prayer and nuffle of voluntary prayers. He was a selfless person. He would perform the Tahajjud prayer. He would recite the Holy Quran regularly. In the days of Jalsa Salana in Aqsa, he would also lead the Tahajjud prayers. He always preferred to sit in spiritual or religious gatherings. He had no liking for the world whatsoever. One Murabi Sahib wrote to me that this is a very old story relating to Aladdin Sahib. There was a wedding of one of his relatives and he went to go and attend that wedding. That when the announcement for Nikah was about to occur, then because of his status in the world and also because of his being elder in the family and also respected, Then they said to him that you please